Hello everyone, here's the $800 gaming PC build of the month for November 2021. My name is Corey with NoobComputerBuild.com. Welcome to the $800 build. We have some updates this month. Ooh, I just teased it down below there. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, if you've been checking into these builds every single month, you uh, may have noticed I have switched over to an Intel variant on the CPU. So we'll get into that in a quick little second. If you haven't checked out, if you have a different budget than $800, we d I did post a few other uh, budgets at the channel if you visit there or visit the site here at noobcomputerbuild.com where we have other budgets as well. But let's dive into the $800 build. This build is kind of the, for those that just want to get up in gaming. It's like the every every person's sort of gaming PC build. Uh, one that you can uh, game smoothly at high settings and FPS at 1080p resolutions in most games. This is kind of that every person build. Uh, so the CPU, like I said, switched over to... Here, I want to just tease it a little bit. But switched over to the Intel Core i5-11400. This has been out for a little bit. And the reason it wasn't included in the last few months is because uh, the costs were kind of... Should, they were way more than they should have been, and that, that's just due to the nature of new CPUs being released and costs going up and supply levels being low and there's a chip shortage and all that kind of good stuff. But right now, Intel i5-11400 is at 204.99, plus the 11400, that is the 11400 non-F variant of the CPU, has integrated uh, Intel graphics. So if you can't get your hands on a graphics card right away, or you think the one included in this build is a little too expensive for you, or you want to wait until you can get the exact card you want. You'll still be able to build your PC, get up in gaming, um, you know, obviously with settings scaled back a little bit and, and things like that, and maybe probably kind of 720 into 1080p uh, uh, settings at that point in time. But if you just want to get up in gaming and can't get a graphics card, this is the perfect solution. Plus, it's great. It's actually a phenomenal and better CPU than the one that was included last month. So let's get further into it. Uh, included not the included cooler but the cooler uh, swapped out this does have a stock cooler but it's crap so we're going with the cooler master hyper 212 black 39.99 motherboard to go with this intel build is the asus prime b560 ma 109.99 and then the graphics card here is the zotac gtx 1660 6 gigabyte card which should be able to handle games 1080p up to 60 fps uh, currently at 522.99 keeping in mind that it's 219 uh, msrp suggested price no card is msrp these days so five and this isn't too bad of an increase i suppose but 522.99 it is it's it is more expensive than it should be but other alternative cards 550 you can get a 1660 super uh, you know kind of close to there that would be kind of shaving it if you can get the best price at the moment but uh, another alternative uh would be the gtx 1650 for about 339.99 another budget card that could perform all right and save you a couple hundred bucks so memory we have is the Crucible Ballistics 3200 gig, uh, 3200 kit, uh, megahertz kit of 16GB memory, $73.99. Uh, Crucial uh, P2 500GB uh, NVMe SSD, $44.99. Power supply we have here is the Apivia 600W Prestige power supply, $49.99. Then the case we have is the Zalman S4 uh, case, which is kind of a cool budget case. Cool, huh, mind the pun, but uh, it kind of has a, it's just very minimalistic and sleek and only cost $52.99. Um, and then this bill comes in at uh, $1,099.88 if all put together. Like I said, that will bump down by a boatload if you don't get the graphics card and you just use integrated graphics at the moment. But obviously you probably want a graphics card. Uh, and then if the GPU did cost around MSRP, this build would be $795, so that $800 gaming PC build budget. Now, moving on to the end here, here's some upgrade alternatives that I don't, I don't always include in these build, uh, videos at least, but these are kind of if you have more to spend or you want some upgrade ideas for the future. So a better CPU, Intel Core i5 11600K, $259.99 at the moment. Better graphics card, you can go with something like this Asus Dual AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT at $749.99. That would be a significant upgrade in graphics as well. Uh, if you you can always choose another case, and cases do come down to aesthetics and appeal and kind of personal choice a lot of the time, too. Um, but this is a great case, the Cooler Master Silencio <laughs> S600 uh, case, but it does come at a bit of a premium, $122.99. But do shop around if you want kind of alternatives to kind of think about for yourself. Uh, storage, you can bump it up to a Crucial P2 1TB NVMe SSD, $83.99. Yeah, that does it for the $800 gaming PC build of the month. If you have any comments, leave a comment below. Subscribe to keep up to date with these builds. Otherwise, visit the site, newcomputerbuild.com. You can leave a comment here and uh, I'll help you out. All right, best of luck building your next gaming PC build.